Hey everyone, this is Brian with fitnessblender.com and today guys, I have a push-pull upper body strength workout for you. This workout today is going to feature 22 exercises targeting all the muscles in the upper body to help us with pushing and pulling. The equipment needed today, your dumbbells, light, medium, and heavy, and of course your optional mat, your warm-up, and your cool-down is included. So if you guys are ready, let's get started with this workout. All right, team, let's get started here with the warm up. So today, guys, we have a total of six movements. Each one is going to be 30 seconds each. We're going to go through this two times. We're going to begin today with our arm circles. All right, about 10 seconds here. Again, we're just loosening up the muscles in the upper body, preparing today for our push-pull circuit. Here we go. Two, one, arms out to the side. Let's go. Small circles here. Take your time. At 15 seconds, we're going to change directions. Great job, great job. Nice and easy here. Good, 15 seconds, go ahead and switch directions. Let's keep those circles tight. 10 seconds, we're gonna be moving into our shoulder dislocates next. Five seconds, three, two, one. Arms are down to the side, we're coming up to a wide Y and then right back down. Let's keep working here. Again, take your time on the warm up today. We're trying to loosen up the upper body, the arms. It's going to be a lot of work today. Arms, chest, back, triceps, and biceps. Good. 10 seconds. We're going to be moving into our inchworm next. Five seconds here. Two, one. All right, let's go. Inchworms. Hands are to the floor. We're going to walk it out to our high plank. Walk back towards our feet and standing straight up. If you guys have to modify this, you can go ahead and bend your knees on the way back. That way you don't have to worry about the tightness in your hamstrings. Great work, guys. Keep it up. Five seconds. Next up, we're going into our air rows. Two, one. All right, we're up here, picking up those arms, and we're just going to perform a row with the elbows elevated at the shoulders. Good. Keep it up. Pulling back, squeeze. 15 seconds. That's it, 10 seconds. Next up, we're going to the floor, all fours, scapula push-up. Three, two, one. All right, down, all fours here. We're gonna drop the chest between the arms and then pull away. As you drop the chest, go ahead and squeeze the back together and then push away. Good. Keep it up. Take your time again, guys. We're not rush rushing through this here today. 10 seconds, moving into the alternating T-spines. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, hand behind the head, turn and rotate, look up, and then switch sides. Great job. Again, take your time. Not looking to rush today. We're going to focus on our form from start to finish. 10 seconds. At the bell, going back to our arm circles. Two, one. All right, we're up. Arm circles. Great job, great job. Last time through here. Good work. Remember at 15 seconds, changing directions here. It's 15, go ahead and switch it up. That's it, 10 seconds. Five seconds, going back to our shoulder dislocates. Two, one. All right, hands down to the side, coming up, out, and back down. Again, making a big wide Y with the hands and the arms. Good. Uh, 20 seconds. Great job, guys. Great job. Just keep working here. 10 seconds remaining. Going back to our inchworms. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, let's go, inchworms. And walk it out again to that plank. And right back 
to standing. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Moving at a pace here. Try to break a little sweat, but nothing too strenuous. 10 seconds. Great job, great job. Going back to our air rows. Two, one. All right, we're up, air rows. Going back and forth. Good, elbows are high. Squeeze the back as you pull back. 20 seconds. Guys doing excellent, keep working. Nice. 10 seconds, going back to the floor. Scapula push-up, all fours. Five seconds. Three, two, one, back down. Scapula push-up, again, drop the chest between the arms, squeeze back here, and then push away. Good. Good job, guys, keep it up. Good. We have about 10 seconds, guys. One more left. Alternating T-spines. Good. Three, two, one. Hand behind the head. Rotate. Look up. And then switch sides. Good. Nice big stretch here. Good work. Excellent job. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Keep it up. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Great job, guys. Great job. All right, we're going to take a quick second here. We're going to move on to our push pull circuit. I'll see you guys in one moment. All right, team, let's get started here with the push pull circuit. So, just a quick reminder here, some of the exercises that we are gonna be doing today are gonna to be done overhead. You guys may see me take a knee for some of those exercises at home. You guys are more than welcome to stay standing. I only do that because I'm six foot three and I have an eight foot and a half ceiling clearance above me. All right, guys, with that being said, we're gonna to begin today with our single arm Arnold press. All right, so I'm gonna begin on my left hand. Again, I'm taking a knee, but you guys can stay standing at home. Here we go, three, two, one, palm is facing your face, turn and press right back down to the beginning. I want you guys to take your time, focus on your form, tight core, you're pressing over the head. Good. That's it. Inhale down, exhale up. Great job, guys. Keep working. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds of rest. Each exercise a day. Let's work this upper body. Good. 10 seconds. Work, to you. Good work. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Nice job, guys. All right, we have a 20-second break. We're going to be switching to the opposite side for the next one here. Excellent work, guys. For this one, there's no modifications, really. If you're really struggling with this one, you can't rotate. You can do a single arm neutral press instead without the rotation. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go again, palm facing your face, turn up and press, right back down, good. Take your time, bring that weight down with control. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Let's keep working. That's it. Good, we've got about 20 seconds here. Focus on your form, remember tight core, pressing the weight over the head. Try not to arch your back, especially if you're standing. 10 seconds. Good. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Nice job. All right, we're done with those. Next up, we're moving into a three-point row. We're gonna be using the floor today like a bench. So when you guys put your hand down, knee down, leg is back, and we're working our single arm row. Here we go, two, one, all right, let's go. Pull it in, slowly return it down to the floor. I want you to take your time on that release. This is where we're gonna gain the strength on that eccentric phase of the workout. Good. Let's keep working here. 
Nice job, guys. Nice job. About 15 seconds. Good work. 10 seconds. Went a little heavier in this round here. And I encourage you guys to do the same thing. Two, one, and time. All right, 20 seconds, switching it up to the other side. Yeah, push yourself a little bit. Grab some heavier weights. Some of these exercises, especially some of the pulling exercises, you could probably get away with that today. All right, guys, about five seconds. Hand down, knee down, leg back. Two, one. All right, let's go. Of opposite side. Again, take your time. Releasing that weight down to the floor. That's it. Excellent work. Nice tight core here. Driving that elbow up towards the ceiling. And again, lowering that weight with control. Excellent job. 10 seconds. Good. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Nice job, guys. Nice job. All right. Next up, we're going to our push-up. We're going to do the standard push-up. You guys can also modify. I'll show you that during the exercise here. All right, team. We have about five seconds. Working our standard push-up. 40 seconds. Here we go. Two, one. All right, team. Let's go. Good pace. Down and up. That's it. We're not trying to rep these out super fast. Good. Now, again, if you need to modify, drop your knees to the floor. You can work this modification from here. All right, so don't forget that one. Let's keep it up. 15 seconds. Good. 10 seconds. That's it. Five seconds. Two, one, and time. Great job. All right, next up, standing up, bent over rows. We have a dumbbells, both hands, neutral grip, and pulling. All right, five seconds. Two, one, let's go. Back flat, pull, and release again. Slow release. Focusing on that strength. Don't let the weight drop. Good. Squeeze as you pull it in. Nice job. 20 seconds. Guys are doing awesome. Keep working. 10 seconds. 5 seconds. 3 Two, one, time. Nice work. Now for this next one, I recommend sw switching to a lighter dumbbell. We're gonna be doing alternating front raises. 10 seconds. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Raising one, and then switching. Back and forth. Again, take your time, control the weight. Don't let it control you. That's it. Try to prevent your body from swinging the weight. Use your front delt to lift the dumbbell. Great job, guys. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one, time. Nice. We're going to stick with that same theme. Next up, alternating upright rows. Doing great, guys. Keep working. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Here we go. Two, one. All right, let's go. So coming up, then switching sides. Stop about chest height. You don't have to go any higher than that. Make sure your elbow is coming out to the side during the upright row. Good. And I'm using some lighter dumbbells here. I wouldn't recommend going heavy on these last two. 
Good. 15 seconds. That's it. 10 seconds. You guys are doing excellent. Let's keep working here. Three, two, one, and time. Nice job. All right, I'm going back to my heavy dumbbell. You only need one for this one. And we're going to be doing a landmine row with the dumbbell. So we're double clenching the dumbbell here in the center, just like you would with a landmine on a bar. We're bent over, pulling in and releasing out. Good. Looking down, eyes on the floor, flat back, soft knees, hips are back. So that way you're not rounding your back. Good job, guys. Keep it up. 20 seconds. Keep working. 15. Guys are doing great. Focus on that form. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Great work, guys. On our back next, we're going to be doing a close grip press with the dumbbell, focusing on chest and triceps here. All right, 10 seconds. Holding that dumbbell between the hands, just like this. Here we go, two, one. All right, pressing it up and back down. Find a good pace and stick with it. You don't have to be super fast. For this one here, little chest, but a lot of triceps. Great work. Let's keep working here. You guys are doing excellent. 15 seconds. Good. Inhale down, exhale up. Good. Three, two, one, and time. Nice work. Next up, we're going to do the up and over shoulder press. Using one dumbbell, pressing it up and over the head. So again, this is an overhead exercise. I'm going to stay kneeling. You can stand or kneel at home. That's up to you. Here we go. Three, two, one. Dumbbell on one side. Press it up and over. Take your time. Good work. That's it. A little bit more shoulder work here. A little bit more pressing. That's it, team. 20 seconds. With control, 15 seconds. 10 seconds, you guys are doing awesome. Let's keep working. Five seconds. Two, one, and time. Excellent job. All right, I'm standing back up. Next up, we're doing our Yates row or supine row. Palms are facing up, working your bent over row. This incorporates the biceps. Five seconds. Two, one, let's go. Just like the bent over row, this time our palms are facing in a supine position. We're facing out. Let's keep it up. Again, eyes on the floor, chest down, soft knees, hips back. Keep working, 20 seconds. You guys are doing awesome. 15. Good control. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Two. One. And time. Excellent job. All right. Now, we're going to move into our alternating hammer curl. So, you did that supine row. Add a little bit more to the biceps now. Alternating hammer curls. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, let's go. In that hammer position, with control, elbows tight, preventing the body from swinging. Let's keep it up. Nice job, nice job. We have about 20 seconds, team. 
Let's keep working. Good work. 10 seconds, guys. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Great job. All right, next up, overhead tricep extension. So this will be one of those exercises I'm going to take a knee on. You only need one dumbbell. We're going to put it over the head and extend those arms straight up. Here we go. Two, one, elbows tight. Let's go. Push it straight up here. Focusing on those triceps. Triceps help with the pushing. Biceps help with the pulling. Good work. You guys are doing excellent here. 20 seconds left. Good work. Let's keep working here. Don't give up. 10 seconds. Good. Three, two, one, and time. Nice job, guys. All right, next up, we're going to a negative floor press. Negative floor press. So we're going to count two to three seconds down and one second up. Standard floor press, but with more control. All right, let's go. Dumbbells are up. Counting down. Three, two, one. One, elbows to the floor, press it straight up and continue. Three, two, one, pause and back up. Let's keep it going. Three, two, one, pause and right back up. Excellent job. Three, two, one, pause, right back up. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, hold it. And right back up. Good. Three, two, one. And we match the timer. Great job. All right, guys, you can stay in that same position. And we're going to be doing our dumbbell pullover next. So now we're going to be focusing on the lats. Dumbbells going to be in the center of the hand. Reaching overhead. Right back over the face. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, let's go. Big reach over. Good, pull it right back over the face. You want to go until you feel that stretch under the armpit in the lat area. Great job. Good. Let's keep it up, team. 20 seconds. Nice work. That's it, guys. Keep it up. Five seconds, three, two, one, and time. Great job. All right, guys, next up is our Dumbbell Renegade Row. Now, there's a couple modifications you can do with this one. For the first 10 seconds, I'm gonna show you guys the original way, then I'll offer you some modifications right after that. All right, here we go, three, two, one. We're gonna get into our high plank, going into our pull, and then switching sides, keeping that body as still as possible. Now, you have to modify it. Come down to your knees like you're doing a push-up, widen your base, and pull the dumbbells in just like that. Now, if the dumbbell is bothering you in the hand, you can go to one dumbbell, you can row, put it down, and then switch sides. All right, so whatever works for you, go for it. About five seconds, two, one, and time. Nice job. Next up, dumbbell lateral raises. So now we're focusing on those delts. Switching back to the lighter dumbbell. Five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Up, coming down with control. Take your time, especially with the weight coming down. Don't let it fall. Try to slow it down. Great job. 20 seconds. 
guys are doing excellent. Keep working here. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Time. Go ahead and shake it out. Now, dumbbell reverse flies. So now we're going to bend over and target the rear delts. 10 seconds. Let's keep it up, guys. We're almost done. After this, three more exercises left. Here we go. Two, one. All right, let's go. Bit over position. Reverse fly. Back to the center. Good. Let's keep working. Again, focusing on that control and your form. We still have soft knees. Our hips are back. Eyes and chest on the floor. Taking that tension off the lower back. Excellent work, guys. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Two, one, and time. Great job. All right, next up, dumbbell curls, standard curls at the same time. All right, 10 seconds. You guys are doing awesome. Last three exercises here. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Standard curls. That's it. Keep it up. Take your time. You guys are doing excellent here. We're going to finish strong. 20 seconds. Two more exercises left. Good work. 10 seconds, team. Let's keep working. Five seconds. Three, two, one, time. All right, now we're gonna do some shoulder shrugs here, focusing on the traps. I recommend using a heavier weight for this one. 10 seconds. On this one, guys, try not to rotate your shoulders, drive them up towards your ears, and then drop them. Let's go. So shrug and back down. So now we're focusing on the traps and the upper back. Good. Drive it up towards your ears and right back down. Let's keep working. One more exercise left. Excellent work. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Good work. Five seconds, guys. Two, one, and time. Nice job. All right, guys, final exercise, dumbbell skull crusher. You only need one dumbbell for this one. Take it above your forehead. And we're extending straight up right above the forehead. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, let's go. Last exercise here. Focusing on those triceps. One dumbbell skull crusher. Maybe use a heavier weight this round since it's only one. And it's the last exercise. Great work, guys. Great work. 20 seconds. Targeting those triceps again. The triceps help with pushing. Biceps assist with pulling. 10 seconds. Good. Three, two, one, and time. Great job, team. Great job. All right, we're going to take a quick 20-second water break, come back and finish with our cool down. I'll see you guys in 20. All right, team, welcome back. So we're gonna finish out here with a quick cool down today. We have a total of four movements. Each one is gonna be 30 seconds each. We're gonna to begin today with the cross body shoulder stretch, starting in five seconds. 
Here we go. Two, one. Bring that arm across the body and just hold here. Nice deep breath, gentle stretch here. Great job today, guys, on that push-pull circuit. Hope you guys really enjoyed this one. Again, guys, control your breathing, about 15 seconds. At the bell, we're gonna switch sides. Good, 10 seconds. Good, five seconds, get ready to switch sides here. Three, two, one, opposite side, continue. Hope you guys got a really good workout with this one today. I really think the push-pull circuits and workouts really create a good upper body balance. And that's what I was looking for today. Pushing, pulling, and then working on those muscles that assist with both. Great job, guys. 10 seconds. For our next one, we're going to take a seat on the floor, put our arms behind us for a bicep stretch. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, take a seat to the floor, hands are behind you, slide your hips away and keep those palms flat, pulling back on the shoulders here, chest poking out, stretching out the bicep. If you're not feeling it, just push your hips away from your arms a little bit more. Great job, 15 seconds. Our next one, we're gonna flip over to all fours. We're gonna do our forearm stretch next. Five seconds. Two. One, all right, flip it over. You're gonna turn your fingers so they're pointing towards your knees and you're gonna push your hips back. It's gonna make that stretch a little bit more intense. If it's too intense, just bring yourself forward a little bit. Great job, stretching out the forearm, the brachialis, which also assists in the bicep curls. Great job, 10 seconds. For our last one, we have our tricep stretch. Five seconds. All right, hands are over the head. We're going to pull down on that elbow, and we're stretching out that tricep right here. Great job. About 20 seconds. Again, control your breathing. Take your time and focus. That's it. 10 seconds. At the bell, we're going to switch sides. One more stretch left. Three, two, one. Opposite side, last one here. Great job again today, guys. Whew. Really needed this workout today. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. All right, 15 seconds. Good, 10 seconds. Again, nice deep breath. Relaxing into your stretches here. Five seconds. Two one and time great job team great job workout complete i hope you guys enjoyed today's workout it was quick we got through it we focused on the upper body push pulling you guys did an excellent job today i'm looking forward to seeing the comments below i'll be speaking to you guys soon